Welcome back from the break, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you got yourself something to drink, something to eat, because uh, you're going to need it for the rest of this best of three here. Of course, the second map is coming up. My name is Serb, and joining me, as he always does, is Men Crystal. What do you think, man? I mean, uh, it would seem like a pretty, like one-sided victory there for savage uh unique kind of showing flashes of brilliance but not really enough to get it over the line that is correct with that they are down the map um so yeah after that we know or no after that now we are going to dust too which of course is the map pick of um unique i mean as you could, could see in the beginning you know i was uh rooting for them i said they're going to win with lack and uh yes yeah, so, you said that uh, your team uh wonderful the old nip i would say <laughs> or parts of sometimes they were all in the nip you know or most of them um it's gonna win and you know they're leading right now it was i wouldn't call it a complete stump but it's like kind of what we expected that little comeback in the end um but in the end it was not enough and yeah does too we both i think can agree that um it can be an interesting map and sometimes we have upsets even with the pick and for them to pick that um i was also surprised when i saw you know dust tube as a pick because uh they're not really good they're both kind of you know around 45 percent you know uh win weight and um yeah to be honest i think that unique will win this one but it will but be just with unteased you know they're just gonna slither into the finish line uh with maybe a possible overtime but that's just my hope of maybe my pick will still go through you know and i'm not like completely last in the standings but uh you know i think i'm already that <laughs> Uh, just ju I'm just the only guy that picked, you know, Blink and uh, Big Academy to make it through. So I've uh, definitely got enough points to last me the entire pick challenge. But I will pick uh, Unique to win the second map. I believe they can do it. And uh, to answer uh, this, like, uh, worry as to why they went for Dust 2, I think it's just because of Savage's very, very recent results. I mean, in from January especially, they got, like, dumpstered on does two four times uh they won it you know twice on top of that but that was against no name teams really saw and sprout and mouse nxt which i would i would classify all of them as a uh, decent tier three teams or like on the upper end of tier three approaching tier two they they lost uh, against them not like gracefully either it was uh 16 8 16 9 16 8 16 3 as just not really uh, the kind of results you'll be looking for here, but hopefully their aimers are online. We did see in the very first map uh, the likes of, who was it again, like Grux. Um, obviously, he had some monster performances. Twist as well. Draken, not really as high as you'd like, but you know what? Dust 2, it's an opera's paradise. Let's see if the dragon can be unleashed here. Once the knife concludes, and there you go, unique, they seem to have won it, so they should be starting on the CT side. That's correct. I mean, of course, um, we all know that, you know, Dust 2, it was, you know, all for a long time, it was, you know, a little bit two-sided, but um, with that new chain, I mean, to be honest, it's not, no longer new, you know, it's now a couple of months. And oh, bro, a year. we still call it the new economy, even though it's been there for three years. So don't worry about it. If it's new, no, I, mean, I was talking it just about means the, the, the change, the map change. I know, I know, I know. But like Winner. in general, we call old things like, oh, it's the new thing, bro. That was five years ago. Like we just it's uh, we have a bit of a different That's sort true. of recently when the revolver was introduced. 2015. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, you know, some other video games that are kind of like Counter-Strike, they just get updates for really no reason that are really common, which oh, is good if you're a new player. But hey, this is obviously the superior video game. Let's get into it, shall we? The pistol round is live with Unique as the CTs holding on to this long control. Just not going to be good enough to get the headshots yet, though, Duke Fasura. Flashbangs helping him out, but that's only going to be good enough for a trade. Soro with the fadeaway frag as well. Can he make it back? Well, he even picks up a second, so his job is done. Just plus and left. Ooh. First fire on the Glock, finds the first, and taps the second. That's true, burst fire. You know, we all know that it's on the Glock, but uh, we don't use it because... Reasons. <laughs> but look at that. It used to be good in 1.6, allegedly. 
I don't know. I cannot uh, say anything about that. As we are pre probably have hit now 10 times the time everybody was playing 1.6 and all that stuff. I was playing on the PlayStation Crash Bandicoot and Final Fantasy, but uh, yeah, Whoa, PlayStation. Those 2. odds though. They're they're pretty yeah. much even, even though unique, uh, even though Savage won the first map, I guess. Yeah, it's it's, it's map just one. getting it's the map pistol. One. You know, yeah. the pistol can do a big a difference. I guess so. We'll be seeing if they can make use of it. Of course, this one not really the biggest investment in the world. Draken did kind of like go for a scout when usually it's a scout plus four deagles. Here it's a scout plus one deagle. That one's gonna be unpleasant. I guess he had a little mm. bit extra cash laying around, which is why it's the same as everyone else's right now. But hey, uh, the scout, he can still kind of bait the pistols, kill uh, the enemies. Up close and personal, though, Duke Vissura, he's taking care of business. Oh, he even gets the pistol at the end, and no ace for you, unfortunately, but he's done enough. He's done his work. And it's just Draken who's going to be the elusive... Ooh player to catch i say that but smiley just immediately bops him on the head easy as can be all right that was the eco quote unquote draken's still gonna be a bit short-handed but all in all a decent success no not not actually it was a t it was they didn't get much done there savage so unique they're gonna be keeping a hold of the mp9s against ak's a little bit of a dangerous bonus round they're going for but hey you risk your profit sometimes Sometimes you have to risk something or to win something. And uh, yeah, look at that. A little train towards the B side. Oh, the Molotov separating them, but they have the smoke in hand. Drugs, look at that. 10 HP. Look at that. 10 HP work gone. <laughs> Add a bit more. And look at that. The 8 WP from the city is getting himself a double one. That's indeed a nice one. But still, they are now onto the side. The B bomb side, one of the hardest to retake in all of Counter Strike. And uh, let's see if they. Can do it. Should be a doable one. I mean, they still have some smokes. There you go. Both of them have just been popped by the T's. One of them at the door. The other one, I'm not even entirely sure. Oh, yeah, the tunnels. Okay, well, there's no CTs in there. They all just push in. Smokes or not, we're brave enough to go in, but Twist just gets a triple, and, well, that was a little bit ill-advised. They couldn't exactly wait for the smokes to clear, though. I didn't think two smokes would be enough, but... Hey, if you put Twist behind one of them and none of the CTs are looking in his direction, that's going to be the round win 10%, like 100% of the time. Yeah, and with that, I mean, of course, saving the AWP is a good thing, but Savage now having the first T around. Let's go into a little replay there. Look at that now. That, oh, I'm not going to see that. AWP headshot. Look at that. They're just lining up for Twist. Man, that was something. And yeah, if you are new on Thunderpick, we have a nice offer for you. So if you put down 50 bucks and use the wonderful code Bitcoin, we have a little surprise for you because you will get 100%, you know, on top of that to play with, to maybe bet on Unique and maybe win or maybe lose and say Savage is going to win. Everything is possible if you just, you know, choose to bet onto that. Of course, if you... Bad then, bad responsibly, and only do it if you were 18. Just like a lot of things. Takes a while for the old gray cells to develop. And to be honest, even 18-year-olds don't make good decisions. Men, at least. We, we, we take a while. But hey, you can still play some bets if you want. Going into this one with unique, the double op setup, but also a double deagle. Should be a wacky one, and they should be playing pretty far away from the enemies with that kind of weaponry. However, they're sticking to their guns. They're sticking pretty close, and to their credit, finding Plessinus, he tries to mount the Xbox. But Mint is more of a PlayStation guy, so he doesn't really mind. Uh, Twist even finds a refrag. Soro, not sure what was up with that push. But, you know, <laughs> uh, still four versus four with Winter going ahead and pushing. Takes care of Twist. Still, it's the long push. Three against two on the A site. That is correct. And with that burning. Oh, the AWP you know, instant refrag is there. 30 seconds on the clock. I mean, let's see. Oh, never mind. In only 30 seconds, two are enough. They're just going completely ham and destroying them on side. Look at that replay. Look at that. Oh. Wonderful, and that pixel gap there is finding the hat. 
took them a kill a little bit, but Dean has he's returning that wonderfully. And that we have unique taking another step to Riot's, you know, victory and maybe Inferno. Their odds are definitely in their favor now. I mean, having gone through that round, uh, not that much money saved up, not as much as you would have hoped, given that they risked it with a, with a bonus round. But still, I was going to say this one should be quite effortless, expecting Dizon to die there, but he just caps Iceman. He's looking for more. Smoke can't exactly stop him. Smokes are not walls, as winter is completely blind as snow here on the B site. They find him. Take care of that guy. Three versus three. The bomb should get planted, and the utility is good enough for the take, um, for the hold. Two Molotovs, dude. But they're not going to get a chance to throw him. Dizon doesn't get a chance to hit the sitters with the AWP. Oh, has to actually get the Deagle out to get one, but now there's two left alive. They know where he is. This is an impossible round now for Dizon. It's kind of entirely his fault, unfortunately. He missed those op shots, man. They were they were guaranteed kills. What the hell, man? CS Goad. This crosshair was on That's him, true. right? Yeah, probably, you know. <laughs> Who knows that for sure, except the game. <laughs> It looked ah, yeah. so good. Kind of, sometimes Counter Strike is not sure. Did you hit him? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows for sure? <laughs> it's, it's sometimes strange. Okay, some yeah. long attempts coming in from Savage, but immediately turning away, tucking their tail between their legs and going back. Although Grux is still kind of hanging around, he's not going to be getting a Soro to push through the smoke or anything. So that's all going to be kind of. A stalemate for now. Savage trying to break the stalemate on middle, though. A little bit of action towards that. Or are they just going to be stacking tunnels and executing straight up? That's not a good move against two players. But if they get a speedy entry and there's only one player left on that B site, I mean, they've done it before. They're, they're, they think they've identified a bit of a hole in the defense here, in my opinion. And, well, that's certainly a tantalizing prospect, but will they be expecting winter on the left side of this doorway? You usually look to your right, and that's exactly what the first two players did. Winter finds a nice double. His cold brother, Iceman, also with the third, and now it's a two versus four. That's true, but look at Plaston. He's finding more, but he has lost a decent amount of HP. Still AWP, he can make it work. Maybe. I mean, they have 30 seconds. It's not, uh, you know, so much time that they have to choose a bomb sign. It seems like they actually want to brute force now onto the B side. No, oh, he's stuck in the corner. I mean, you can't think about it, but no, he was not prepared for that. It will be unique making it five on the uh, on the board. And with that, it's definitely a good start. Look at that. Winter just spamming them down. You know, sometimes, you normally you check it, but sometimes you just forget and... If you forget, something like this can definitely happen. What a terrible time to forget. At least the second guy could have checked it, right? Like, you send in the first. Yeah. The second guy can be, like, hugging the right wall as he was. You could even, like, justify looking into the wrong direction to avoid flashes or something. It's, yeah, just kind of how you want to be exiting tunnels. But unfortunately, that doesn't occur. Hopefully, during the match pause here, they can actually talk about that a little bit. You know, mention some of the basics. Yeah. But speaking of basics, like this is going to be a pretty basic buy for some of the players on Savage. Like we, we do have an AWP pretty much guaranteed as Plesson does have the magical 5,750. So you can buy like an op and uh, just buy armor for yourself. No mm -hmm. nades, but just enough to get that nice combo going. So Kraken does get the drop. Twist has to make do with, an, with a Mac 10. And Draken can't actually spot Soro pushing middle. They're going to have some false info here. They think it's clear. He takes out his gun. And yeah, it's his own false info that kills him in the end. Soro with a double with just the mid push. Holy God. Dude, it's looking like a bad start to a half again for Savage. And like usually on Ancient, they just bounced right back afterwards. But it's not looking too good here. They're, they're just making some sloppy mistakes. Yeah, I mean, I mean the things like both teams already have played uh, today. So um, 
They could be, of course, a little, you know, fatigued, you know, setting in, maybe a little hungry, sleepy, you know, everything in between. And sometimes that can impact, you know, your ability to play. I mean, we saw that yesterday, you know, the longer it gets, the scrappier it's, it's becoming. So sometimes uh, it's just not working out that you intended. And when you're like so tired, it can go wrong. And sometimes Ooh. just a little break can maybe change things. Yeah, these are <clears throat> definitely waking up a little bit. Nice double, but <laughs> can't quite exit into tunnels fast enough. Twist does get the refrag, but there's two frags left to go. Ooh, he made some noise as though he was going up Xbox, hoping that Sora would peek him. Doesn't occur, of course. Easy kill for him. Even saves the AWP for good measure. And the money situation, still bad for Savage. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Team Live. The classic tag. We thought those were gone, man. We're like, woo, no more getting tagged through the wooden doors on mid. Oh, wait. <laughs> Every team does it now. But at least it doesn't happen in matchmaking as much. Oh boy, oh. Duke. That's a good one. Completely blind. Once his monitor turns back on, he just sees, oh, I got three kills. Ain't that, ain't that good? Certainly is. A Savage, like, off to a bad start in the round anyway because of their bad buy, just losing three players outright. Never a good sign. It's just D's on left. Doesn't cut the mustard. Unique. Not only do they win the round, but four players survive, and that's going to be great for their economy, which hasn't been flawless so far, but now they can finally start stacking some, some bank. Yeah, 7-1, I think it's pretty clear that, in my opinion, we should get a timeout pretty soon, I would say. Because, yeah, you can only lose so many times in a row before you have to call the let's talk for a minute button. I mean, to be honest, I would love to see a timeout, really. Because, I don't know, man. I, I don't even mind anything in particular that they're doing with their T-sides. They tried exploiting B, and that didn't work. And now they just don't have any other holes in the defense to really try. Have they even gone short this entire time, Savage? Um, I they think they it, right? did once. I think at the Eker one, they would go went... Um... But like it's not like that's usually the staple of these uh, dust two T sides, right? You you take lower tunnels, you go to short, you do that kind of stuff. Here they're not really messing with that part of the map, which is a bit confusing and unique. Definitely putting their defenses elsewhere. A trade of kills, of course, occurred uh, on different sides of the map. One kill for the CTs on long, and one of the B defenders fell. As Duke Pesora does manage to get himself out of dodge, out of that burning car. Uh, well, finally, some short presence. Savage actually getting domed as soon as they step there. Maybe uh, that was why they didn't go there. Oh, well. Just two left, and Duke Pesora spotted them. Look at that. Yeah, Duke Fizzero, he is right now the entry kill leader with two, you know. But he's not alone, doesn't also have a decent one. I mean, to be honest, um, that's kind of surprising. I thought that with this scoreline, um, I thought we're going to have a bit different stuff. And yeah, we have also right now the timeout I was talking about um, when we look at this replay. And yeah, nice trade there. Look at that. They're just looking so easy. I mean, to be honest, sometimes looking just as easy and, you know, Savage. They hopefully talking with their coach. I think um, if they have one, um, what they can do right now, and you know, what would you definitely say them uh, right now? What do you think they can change in order to maybe win some rounds? I 
But the thing is, I mean, I would definitely say that you know, sometimes you just have to, you know, change your approach, maybe um, go for something completely defensive, hope that Unique maybe going to push or something. On the other side, as we saw in Ancient, sometimes just going with Tech Nines, run on the side and, you know, get some headshots is also working out very well. So I think just like a uh, tempo change could maybe change something uh, in the future and maybe uh, the face of this map, because right now it's not really working out. Look at that, sorry. He is so aggressive, just going in. He doesn't care. He, he probably can think it's an eco, so he's just saying, yeah, screw this. I'm just going in. And if I get killed, well, so shall it be, man. Oh, Grux. Oh, is he? He's probably never going to expect a player behind oh. that crate. Yeah, unless he makes footsteps, and then that just immediately oh, happens. Smiley smiley smiley, he knew him, <laughs> so he, he got the info. It's like, one suicide. Okay, I'll peek him. And now T's absolutely no idea that Soros there. Draken gets a kill. That's going to be a consolation prize here at best. Unique yet again, winning the round, this time with three remaining, which, you know, doesn't really increase your bank all that much, but it doesn't decrease it either. And they got so much money stacked up. Uh, they actually don't know what to do with it. Smiley's almost at the limit there with 11k. And Savage definitely at their limit in terms of, like, technical complexity with these rounds. Like, what, what, what are they even... What can they even try? Is there a new approach they can just kind of take out of the bag and, you know, get some guaranteed rounds? They seem to be heavily invested in this B-side, and they're going to be hitting it again. At least they're getting onto that three on three. That can maybe uh, go into a round because, you know, B is pretty hard to, you know, take. And look at that. Twist. He's getting that just before the smoke goes on. Look at that, Draken. Going aggressive. But unable to find anything. It's now a BB2. I mean, to be honest, if you look at the money, it's not really a lot for Unique. Uh, we can see Duke for sure. He's like on 50 bucks. Well, yeah, his money is pretty rich. Um, but of the only one player with also low, I think he just should give up or maybe you can go for some exit frags because this is like Savage finally maybe waking up after this, you know, timeout uh, a couple of rounds prior. I mean, I hope because completely... If you just walk over here on Dust 2, um, it's not a good game then. <laughs> not something I would like to cast. Hopefully it becomes a bit of a better game with Savage getting the second. And now... An opportunity to get two in a row, but what are they gonna do, Mint? Like, what, what? Hey, let's execute B again. Like, <laughs> Unique are gonna, are gonna see that coming. It's the only way they've gotten round so far. So you just, like, heavily stack toward B in terms of utility. Maybe like the mid guy just comes up, drops his smoke and his Molotov and then goes back to middle. And then the B guys can just sort of stall forever. It looks like Savage are at least not gonna be going for the same tactic twice in a row, this time opting for a little bit of long aggression. Not gonna be going their way, however, on middle. They did lose a player who was trying to go fast cat, but the cat went fast enough. Yeah. And now the long Sometimes push seems to, to be, be a dog. again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know which animal is faster, the cat or the dog. I don't I have no clue. I mean, Depends on the breed, I assume, faster. but you know, there's there's probably I some mean, dogs. I, I, that I'm would talking about standard, non-skid version, you know. <laughs> yeah, problem is there's no like standard dog. The... It's a wolf, then. The international like committee for standardization uh, didn't come together and say this is dog trademark. It's pretty. Ah, uh, damn. It's pretty subjective, you know. There's different breeds. Oh man. Savage looking like they might actually get this one if uh, this long duel goes correctly, but if it doesn't, that those three guys from shorts are definitely going to be in a lot of trouble. Still not really pushing in, baiting the utility out after throwing two smokes of their own. The real utility comes in, and the take can actually commence with the long player not really being decided as to where he wants to look. He definitely needs to look towards short now as the T's start pouring on out, but the flank is also coming in. The entries from Twist are going to be wonderful. Draken even holding the back. Sure, he dies, but the plant should commence no problem. You're just not going to be 
planting for short. Okay, then. Lesson dies on long. The twist as well. And this is a perfect retake from Unique. Sure, a little bit scrappy toward the end, but they get it done. The 10th point is theirs. Savage, even with like everything going their way with this take, they just can't get it over the line. And I mean, this must be why they picked us too, man. They, they must see that Savage are just not that good on it. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, as I told you, I mean, sometimes uh, teams, they can overlook us too. It's like, yeah, we, we can kind of play Houndos too. Um, and sometimes teams that really have practice like in and out are just like bad at every way because sometimes teams just neglect neglecting to us too pretty hard. And sometimes stuff like that can happen because of that. And you can see, we saw in the wall, 1.02. That's not really a lot of confidence that the Thunder pick right now has in Savage. Um, but maybe that will change. All right. Fast explosion out of long here. Was even, but then Dizon kind of gets them the lead. Soro, he had no chance to really fall back. Had to go for the fight. Does fall. Smiley. Dangerous position here, but they're behind on men. And he needed to do something dangerous. That's just what the doctor ordered. Throw the smoke down. Make him think, did he stay car? Did he go up ramp? Is he going to escape on the left side? You just don't know. That's why it's a perfect escape route. But it's still two versus two. And there is a flank incoming. I'm wondering if Winter actually pumps the brakes and stops right over there. Or if he's going to be pressing the issue. Pressing forward until the long... Uh, like, just before the long push actually commences. He should have known that Plesson was watching the back. A little bit of a misplay there for Winter. And Savage, I mean, hey, credit to them. They're in a two versus one. An opportunity to get the third point. That is correct. And, you know, the third point is one they desperately need it. Uh, because, you know, even the 10-5, it's not the stuff you want to see. Look at that. That was like chaotic all the way, you know. To be honest, mm -hmm. you never know what's happening. Flashbangs all over, and um, yeah, it worked out pretty well for Savage. Sometimes, but you know, chaos can you know win you rounds. Here we go. I want more Smiley on the scout in the restaurant. Deagles. Oh, not even Duke Fasura's on the USP. Okay. See how this one goes. Draken entering with the AWP. I mean, he did get the entry kills on uh, Ancient. He's uh, got kind of an entry role here as well. Very nice to see. <laughs> Draken kills Pleasant. That was not the intended target. He meant to kill the guys behind him. Sure enough, he gets a few of them. And uh, yeah, the op won't be saved this time, Winter. You, you tried your best. You tried to get the rifle, but it just doesn't work out at the end. It's Soro. The last man left standing, a one versus three. Then a scout in hand, looking for some headies, but so is D's on, and he doesn't get him through the taps, the sprays neither. Finally gets him through the wall, actually. I thought it was Twisted picked him up. Oh, sad if you see the spray, just like spray down. I would have loved to see, you know, um, the team kill once again, <laughs> but yeah. So last round, 10-5 uh, is a possibility. Of course, unique there. Um, just, I know, pretty happy with 10 uh, or maybe 11 on the board. Alrighty. Entry onto long, fades on back, and I guess we're back to old reliable, old faithful here, the B take, but will they expect winter this time? He's already done this to him once, man. He's already been behind that corner. But I think this time they're going to be checking it. If they don't, they truly don't learn from their mistakes. Uh, this time the first guy looks in the corner. That was uh, the correct <laughs> play, the good uh, uh, adaptation they did there. All the entries succeeding, of course, as the bomb does get planted. And the round is basically over, as is the half. Savage. They're going to have to hold back another two players. What is that flashing there? Why is there a muzzle flash oh, in the, the map? I think, was... the, I think the player was also like, uh, was saying like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he saw it as well. It's just not, a, not just a go TV glitch. Okay. Yeah. Gonna have to push in unique, but this is a god dang fortress that they cannot penetrate. 
And they're not even going to be pushing in. Do they know it's the last round? I was so worried I did the math wrong there, but guess not. Might as well uh, save this AWP for the pistol round, you know? It's uh, going to be real useful, but he dropped it on the floor. So no AWP for you, unfortunately. What a shame. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why you didn't just, like, run into B and get killed. I guess it looks bad on the statistics, perhaps, but, you know. Maybe. Why, why, why are you doing that, man? The, the people wanted to see some guys trying to get into B and fail spectacularly, and you deny them this birthright. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. But what is fortunate is that we have uh, some things for you lovely people to do while you are watching the match. Of course, you can spend your Twitch points. They're called Thunder Points, of course. Uh, you know, the standard place where there's, like, uh, Twitch points that you can spend on stuff. You can spend them on wacky stuff like, you know, making us speak Russian. You can shut one of us up for a round you can make us say hello to your mom all that good stuff they're pretty expensive so hopefully you guys have a lot of uh, points from this twitch channel saved up so yeah hopefully you guys do there's also another thing there's a button right under the mini map ladies and gentlemen you can click it and once the charge uh sort of bar gets charged up you guys will be able to just get a free bet on thunder pick what could be better than that get the charging boys get those fingers going as we go into the pistol round with unique now on the t side lower tunnels gonna be finding some success by getting twist all uh tagged down as well as Plesson losing a bunch of hp that happened elsewhere that's correct and well it's definitely not a good start I mean, they really need it, to be honest. If you need, you know, winning this one, I think they should be charging ahead into Inferno. Um, but let's see if Grooks and Pleasant can do something. And I can say, oh, this is definitely a nice start here. And look at that, a second one. He has 10 HP, and I just shouldn't just kill him. Now the B-side is theirs. Ooh, twist. 18 HP. I like how aggressive he is with, like, this amount of HP, man. It's like, I don't mm -hmm. care. You know? It's ballsy. Indeed. But the plant does not succeed. Draken gets the final kill. Savage on the sixth, and hey, after a bad first half, it's at least good to win the pistol of the next one. Gets you into that comeback mood. Hashtag mood. Ooh. Uh, well, ooh, those that was odds, man. They're, yeah, they're quite in favor better. of Unique now, even though they're like a map down. This is... Oh no, it's just for this map, perhaps? It's it's map. Yeah, yeah. It's map pick. Man. Yeah, it's, it is map. It is map. Okay, <laughs> well... <laughs> I, I would I would put those odds for Savage in there, then they're, they're a lot less confusing. Okay. Unique, they didn't spend any money, so you can expect them to just sort of stand still while Savage use up their grenades for no reason, thus causing a little bit of economic damage from Unique's side. Now, they will have to run somewhere and die eventually, unless they just stand still like they did in the final round of the previous half. Remains to be seen. I think they're going to start running. You think so? Um, I mean, to be honest, you can see there's one player actually waiting for them. You know, he's in this with that MP, hoping to, you know, gun them down and you farm that money. But it seems like he's only going to get one. I know it's Pleasant that's going to get it. Oh, he's going to get down, down. But to be honest, losing an MP is not really uh, concerning at all. And with that, we have 10 7. Dizon's the entry killer with the most kills as well. Draken kind of falling behind on the AWP kill game, though. I, I was talking about this too being an opera's paradise of some kind. But I suppose we have to wait for him to get on the CT side before that can really come true. Because as terrorists, you sometimes just uh, don't really get that much done with the op. Anything past the, you know, tags from the double doors. Ooh, and Smiley's getting all tagged down, speaking of offers. Gets a headshot onto someone that dies to a Molotov straight after. However, the B site completely lost. Grux was there all alone, grenade in hand, manages to, you know, at least shoot back a little bit before he himself falls, and Unique have literally just won the round. That's an uh, unretakable bombsite if ever I saw one. Gonna be saving on long for Savage. Yeah. I mean, of course, taking these into the next round is kind of, I mean, it's not really necessary, but um, yeah, look at that. A player, uh, not a player, I always wonder this wonderful watching here saying, let's go Savage the comeback. Um, it seems like 
yeah, people are in favor or a couple of them are rooting for Savage. So, you know, if you want to also get onto the screen, you know, and uh, maybe ask those questions, show your love for the teams, then, you know, wonderfully chat and then maybe we can see it. Very yeah. Nice. You can even make it spicy. I mean, it'll probably get filtered by the moderators, but, you know, who's to say that you can't put something... Yeah ever so slightly spicy in there and it might get past them so do spend those twitch points ladies and gentlemen get your messages on screen make us do wacky stuff however you want to be doing it we're going to be going yeah, into... can find out how good i am in counter-strike or bad or well, what is your rank anyway one. how many hours um, do you have and what's your rank? High... come on my highest oh wait, well how much i what i'm uh, right now the highest i guess my highest was uh dmg <laughs> back when I was in 12th grade or something, and I have. Let's, let's take a look how many hours I have. I have 2,216 hours. Oh, well. But a lot of that is casting, you know? Obviously. That's obviously. my, that's my, you know, it's like, that's like, yeah, I have. But to be honest, yeah, I'm, for, the, for the amount I played this game, I'm pretty bad. Um, but yeah. Nah, there's, Maybe there's, it's because I'm not really difficult. playing pre mage. That's I'm always true. playing solo. I'm playing a bunch of solo. Like everybody else was playing with, like, ah, yeah, I'm, I'm global. I'm supreme. I was like, hey, I'm DMG. They're like, why are you DMG? Yeah. I was like, yeah, I play with randoms, man. I don't play like no, only pre queue like you. Three clicks, Philip just found someone that's a legitimate silver one, and he's got two thousand okay, so plus hours. So you're way better than that. Don't worry about it. Anyway, the round is actually five. starting to get interesting here with Unique. You know, they slowly work their way out to short, but now it's time to explode. Grenades all over the place. Flashbangs as Iceman was completely blinded. That must have been one from the CTs. Dragon and Twist with the kill each, but the bomb is still on the floor, so the T's are not really going to have an easy time recovering it. Nice flank from Sorrow. Almost didn't see it coming there. As the smokes dissipate, the Savage Boys are going to have to bring this back from the three versus three, but yeah, they lose Grux, and now it's the terrorists trying to get that bomb. A real Saving Private Ryan type of moment, but they only have 20 seconds left to plan it, and Twist gets a kill. Just one more remaining, and he doesn't get it. Smiley just refrags him. It was a two versus one. Not really much you can do about it there. As Unique pick it up again. Yeah, 12 to 7. Savage, maybe the comeback is real. Maybe they can do it. Not in this one. The buy is absolutely awful. Plesson on the scout. Kind of a weird choice to give Draken just to Zeus. <laughs> and Plesson has the scout. Obviously, he does have a USP as well. But I don't know, man. Kind of want the opera to be popping heads like that. And Grux does go for a little bit of a... A tickle towards top middle. Has to fall back eventually, obviously. They have a good position here to just stack the A-side Savage. If they see this attack coming, there's literally no reason not to do that. No real sense in being spread out across the map without the proper weaponry. But it's just going to be two players there for now. While two remain on middle, well, only one of them remains now. The other one's helping out through wooden doors. The T's finally executing onto this A-site, which only still had two defenders. And that's why I was saying they should have stacked, but, you know, I can see everyone through walls. They can't exactly do that. Unless their coach is up to something. But don't worry, we don't got those, uh, those exploits anymore. That's ancient history. Oh, and then there were none. Unique. 13 points. Everyone survives. Their money's good, dude. That's that's true, and if your money is not so good right now, you can maybe get a wonderful chance to make it more because we have a wonderful giveaway. You have to use the chat command exclamation mark give, and there are a bunch of ways to enter the giveaway for a wonderful 5,000 euros. And yeah, that's at least it's easy a as decent that. amount. Just, yeah, just type exclamation mark give, and you will get 5,000 bucks. Asterisk. <laughs> You actually will just get a link to a one of giveaway you. <laughs> where you might get it, but one of you is going to get it. Don't worry. All right. Be execute yeah, quite fast. Uh, didn't look that promising, but then Duke Basura actually does find an entry. Who Plesson on the speedy flank. He's going to get stuck. They're making out in the smoke, man. Can love bloom on the battlefield? It seems not so. Plesson gets trade. 
three versus three now with the T's with so much utility, they can hold back the CT retake no problem. And Savage are going to have a just very difficult time coming back in here. They got nothing. A smoke and a molly. Y you kind of need flashes for this one, I'm afraid. Bump is ticking, and with that, and they retreating. The map is not looking spicy for them because they are indeed seven rounds behind, and um, it is looking more and more like that we are indeed going to Inferno for a deciding map, which I would definitely like because I like long maps that are very exciting. Um, but maybe, yeah, Unique has some. Nice, uh, some nice aimers, but the in-game decisions are so often questionable from Garfield. Um, yeah, definitely they have a good aim, but um, I'm I don't I'm not quite sure about the questionable decisions. I mean, um, sometimes of course you have to misread. I mean, the thing is they don't really have a coach right now, so maybe it's because of that. But they did also just uh, showcase those decisions on uh, the first map, right, Agent. It really felt like they had some things going for them, but then Savage just finds kind of holes in either their offense or defense. Holes are being made, though, in a couple of CTs here on middle. The push from short definitely not working out as Unique secured themselves, at least a player in the lead. With also a free bomb side just uh, waiting to be taken. The bomb is heading its way there. Sure, they get Smiley on middle, but that's not really the prize they were looking for. Even Dirk Fasura just making a lot of noise toward B, making the CTs not fully aware as to where the bomb is actually going to get planted. But Plesson has a pretty good idea right now. He's going to be flanking while Dizon tries to go a more traditional route. But all he's got is an MP9, not that much HP. I don't give him good chances. Okay, Duke was that was that was a bit sloppy, but you get it done in the end. That's true. And yeah, with that, we only have one player left. The USPS, I mean, in hand and... You know, an enemy to face, and with that, we are on 15 unique. They are on prime position to go into Inferno. And yeah, on Inferno, I think we're going to have a wonderful game as well, because I think this will be a spicy Inferno, because they're both pretty good on it. Infernos are usually quite hot, yes. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Not actually in Dante's Inferno. Because hell was frozen over in that in that fan fiction, you know. We'll get into some That's classic true. literature later. But... For now, we have Plesson pushing up middle, finding Soro, and even getting himself over to suicide, which is a very uncomfortable place for Unique to have someone behind enemy lines. They kind of have to pay attention to him now, and while they're doing that, well, Savage are just pushing up B tunnels, securing this part of the map, basically guaranteeing that they can just rotate toward the A site and actually find something there, but instead they're going to be pushing through, assisting Plesson in his suicidal tendencies, finding Duke Fasora, of course, as he smokes himself off, and the T's have no chance of finding him while Winter does that. No, he hears the footsteps. You should have started walking earlier, Grux. That one was on you, bud. But Plesson, ah, just narrowly doesn't make it out of dodge. And it's still a three versus three with less than a minute remaining. I think Unique definitely had some good chances there, but then Draken gets the kill. Kind of makes it uh, in favor of the CTs again. All they have to do now is chill for a further 40 seconds until Unique decides to inevitably save or, you know, do some kind of a suicidal push. That's true. I mean, the thing is Unique, they don't really have anything to lose. But they will lose. There we go. Eight on the board. It's the comeback as real, man. Only, well, seven more, and then we go into overtime. We certainly might. It's going to take a lot of rounds here from the Swedes, but hey, it's dust too. You just got to aim better than the other guy. And right now, Dizon still on fire as he was in the first one, but Grux definitely a little bit lacking. Let's see if he can make it up. Oh, of course he does not. It was a one versus one, and kind of 
is on the losing side of it. That's a early advantage here for Unique. They can leverage that man advantage to gain themselves a little bit better positions for the inevitable side to take. But they're just chilling for now, waiting for some kind of aggression to happen, knowing that your opponents are going to be hungry for frags, and you want to deny them the frags they so, so desire. Ooh, finally out of middle here. Nope. It's just the hinge smoke. I don't even know when this hinge smoke was discovered, but it took a while for people to find it. That's true. Yeah, or maybe in some update it was, you know, all of a sudden possible. Look at that person from behind! Oh. They don't know a thing! Man. Nice. Nice kills. Makes it uh, in favor of Savage yet again. <laughs> Starting out, like, on the back foot, but then just bringing it back with nice two kills from Draken to uh, finish us off here. He's one that has to step up too. Like, that's my list of uh, Savage players that really need to get going right now. Twist and, Dra and Dizon, they're doing fine. We need some more Draken kills. He's got the best gun in the game. It's a carry weapon. You gotta go for those early picks. You gotta be there before the sight take even happens, you know, that kind of stuff. And of course, Grux, who's still on only five kills, but, you know, he kind of showed us that he's not actually, he's not exactly on form at the moment in the lower tunnels in the previous round. But yeah, Unique slowly taking map control, and it's gonna take a while before we get some gunfights going. That's true. Sometimes. A slower approach can may lead to victory, and let's see, Pleasant, he cannot see so much as smoke's in the way, and they are going to watch short, but look at that, he's in, he is holding with that AWP, with that green boomstick, and let's see, the ground boost is there, this time nobody is interrupting them, but Trist, oh, that was a huge thing there, and two frags instantly, but it's now even 3v3, so the second I say Not this, it's changed once again. <laughs> Yeah, bomb planted. This could be all she wrote for this second map. Inferno, of course, coming up unless they can get this one done. No, Grux kind of continuing his uh, entire theme of this map of being slightly underwhelming. So that was a little bit of a shame to not get Grux uh, to the same extent as we saw him on the first map. But hey, there's one more map left to go. There's still Inferno where he can show us his stuff. And of course, the Oppers are going to have a good time dueling each other as well. The CT side, probably going to be the one that's uh, going to be more relevant to the Oppers. But either way, we're going to find out what happens. We're going to see which team takes the W here in the first round of this Twitch stage of Thunder Pig Bitcoin Series 2022. Uh, we'll be right back in about 10 minutes. See you guys there.